Now that we've caught the calves, it's time to look at our little heifer calf. Marissa and I are gonna get the Big Joe herd back out in pasture three. We just recently fleshed our very first bison hide. Welcome back to Bison Ranching. Just cut the last cow, Noah's heifer. She did not run away from her baby. So we've got all the calves caught here and our focus is the 350 heifer right here. Right there she is. We're gonna keep our eyes on her because she's the one with the issue on her girly parts. Vulva noticed some blood coming from her a couple days ago. In case you missed the last video, this is what happened. We've been trying to catch these calves, but had a hard time catching all the calves at once. So we had to do what I didn't want to do. We had to bring the whole Big Joe herd up to catch the calves and get them separated from their mama and start the weaning process. And we also had to take a look at one of our little heifer calves to see what was going on with her. Now that we've got all the calves caught and separated and pinned up at the Ponderosa barn, we can take a close look at her. So these are the one of the calves I caught and already started the winning process. He's not one of the escapees, but I kind of want to see if he will come in here. Kind of wants in here with his buddies. Come on, come here, Mike. Let's see if he'll just come in here. Come on. There you go. Now come on in and join the party. I don't want you in here, Canada. <sighs> That job is done. Now the next job is let's get all these guys ran back out. Uh, actually, you know what? This little calf here needs to go back out. He's just not very big. He was a super late born calf. I think I need to let him go back out with mama. That's why he wanted in here. He wanted to fight. <clears throat> Heifer versus bull calf. That's what they wanted. Okay, got our one little calf caught because he is too young to start the weaning process. So I'm going to kick him back out with the herd. Now we got multiple gates, which is handy. Uh oh, well, I need to go the other way, Dusty. The other way. So now let him figure this out. Perfect. That guy needs to go back out, too small. All right, we're good. We got calves caught. Don't you guys like that three ring circus? I'm <laughs> trying to follow me around. It's not easy. I know some of you are like, where's your help? Well, Marissa's my beautiful helper, but I try not to get her in these situations unless I really need to. So, and sometimes, and I know bison ranchers can vouch with me on this, is it's, uh, I like to do things alone sometimes and it's better, so. still works. Hey, girl. We got them all. Come on! Woo! We got to get them out of this pasture anyways. We're going to get them out of this pasture anyways. Christy! That's not Christy. Oh, that's not Christy. Who is that? That's the little four. Ready 
to move. Uh, may have to pull it in, I'm sorry. Because I didn't move that very good. Hop back. Oh, yeah. Let's keep driving and they'll hopefully follow us. Oh, shoot. Better shut that gate. I don't want them in there. Step back, babe. There's Christy. Oh, there's a cow up there. Marissa, huh? there's a cow way up there. Right yep. You got trapped. Oh. oh my gosh, look at them. They're running. They're like, now what? They're turning around, Dustin. Mm hmm. He said, I don't want the free all you can eat buffet. <laughs> yes, they did. They know exactly. That's 11. <laughs> she is just massive. Yeah, she is. We did good on her. She looks really good. So does that 1504 South Dakota one right there. And we got some stragglers. Had a couple stragglers. There they go. They want to go be at the herd way back there. But they also want to be with their calves. Go we'll hop out here with Marissa. I told her, drive out in the pasture, maybe they'll follow you. And sure enough, they did. This is a bell that they destroyed. Let's take a look at it. It's a real nice bell. Marissa and I went ahead and rolled out a bell of hay to the Big Joe herd and get them occupied and away from the front of the Ponderosa and put back in their pasture three. This would give us some time to go back and really look at this heifer and see if we can get a close up of her. Keeping a safe distance, Bullet? <laughs> oh, you're a mess. You're a mess. She's right here. It's definitely something on her tail. After Marissa and I took some lengthy time to take a look at this heifer, we even got the binoculars out to really try to see up close, from a safe distance, what was going on with this heifer to see what may have caused the problem. A couple of things. One, after talking to Doc, he mentioned that a bull may have mounted her and possibly hurt her, which is something that also crossed my mind. Two, she may have just caught her backside or her girl parts on possibly a fence, a tree, which could have caused an abrasion and caused her to bleed. Doc also mentioned that the bleeding could be early signs of a maturing young female. The good thing is, after getting up close to her and looking at her, Marissa or I did not see any signs of blood or possible signs of infection. And now that we've got them all caught up here and put with the other calves, we can keep a further evaluation of her. calves turned out it's a nice little bull it's one of the nice looking bulls we've ever had you know what 355 is not afraid 
I'm really excited about this side project that we started a couple weeks ago with my buddy Colby Lovelady from Arrowhead Bison over in Tuttle, Oklahoma. In case you missed it a couple of videos ago, we fleshed our first bison hide. We learned real quick, this is a lot of hard work. So the first thing we did was it was frozen, we thawed it out, then we fleshed it with a power washer, brought it in and gave it its first coat of 150 pounds of salt. Let it set for four days. And then Marissa and I poured off the first layer of salt and added another 100 pounds of salt for the second set of four days of salting and drying. So after about eight or nine days of drying with the salt, it was time for the hide to air out and get ready for shipping. Looks different. It definitely looks different. Soaked it all up. It won't look much different than this when we get it. The texture will be way different, but it won't look very far off of this. Hard work's done. Now that this hide has been fleshed and salted and dried, it's ready to go to the tannery. From there, it's just a waiting game. It could be three, four, five, even up to 10 months before we ever get this hide back from the tannery. We'll keep you updated with this and let you know the process of it and when it returns. In the meantime, we're gonna keep an eye out on our little heifer calf and keep on bison ranching. Thank you guys for watching us.